Karina is out. Edmund. Bing Chen from Stillwater. Michael Knight. Moore, Oklahoma. Dory Callie. Vanita. Sarah Fox Guthrie. It's Terry Bergman Sky took Oklahoma. Janine Shin. And Claire Moore, Oklahoma. Aliyah Carter, Oklahoma City. Your cut will work prior. Caitlin Esquire. Lawton, Oklahoma. Maddie Smith, Oklahoma City. Kayla Williams, Norman, Oklahoma. Hannah Smith, Norman, Oklahoma. I'm uh, Garrett Folks from Noble, Oklahoma. Brittany Turner, Locust Grove. Kim. Diane Kim. Matt Salisbury, Midwest City. How to enter Edmund. Colby Christmont in Yukon, Oklahoma. Adolfo Garcia, Lawn, Oklahoma. Victoria Barkley, Guthrie, Oklahoma. Ethan Maddie, Edmund. Victoria Aaron, Sarah. Caden Mothers, Collinsville. Lexa Fieson, Stowe, Oklahoma. Alina Pham from Yukon. Cole Strickland from Washington. Jacob Moody, Edmond, Oklahoma. Shelby Mandarella from Atoka, Oklahoma. Well, we're up here because there was a storm and we really, really wanted to come up here and see it because, I mean, it's weather. Who wants to be the, the event organizer? Who's the organizer? I want to be the organizer. Okay, do you keep, do you have the parade or do you cancel it? We're Based gonna upon have the, it. You're gonna have it. Okay. <laughs> Jory is having the parade. Cancel it. <laughs> oh my god! Karina, you're going to the parade. <laughs> well, let's see what let's see what your forecasters say. So, is it going to rain? Raise your hand yes. if it's going to rain. Yes. <laughs> okay. You're going to cancel the parade. Um, and you cancel the parade. Oh. Uh. I came to weather camp because my teacher, she told us about it and I got all excited about it, so I wrote an essay. I came to weather camp because I heard it was going to be a lot of fun from my friend who went here before me and to learn about weather, because weather's cool. I brought so many shoes to weather camp because I'm a girl and I love shoes. Approximately how many shoes I have would be a very large number. I came to weather camp because I wanted to see what meteorology was like. I came to weather camp because I needed an escape from my parents. I came to weather camp because I wanted to see what went on behind the scenes of the news reports and just know what was going on, not just watch the news, uh, but also understand what really was going on. I came to weather camp because I'm I was looking to get a master's degree in meteorology so I can become a chief meteorologist. I came to Weather Camp to explore a career in meteorology. I came to Weather Camp because I wanted to learn what was up in our atmosphere. I came to Weather Camp because I want to become familiar with the OTU campus because I plan to go to college here when I'm older. What did you do? I don't know. I was just trying to get my key out and then it like broke. So my name's Dory. Uh, Holly. Holly, nice to meet you. My name's Dory. 
Okay. Get it again. again. Okay. I mean, I do hugs too, so. That was really awkward. Are you having fun over there? I just have to know, I did not put you up to that. That was completely genuine, like just a I know, I'm really outgoing, so. I came to weather camp because I have been looking at weather and I haven't been able to figure out the radars, so I came to figure out how to use the radars. I came to weather camp because I moved here a few years ago and I wasn't used to Oklahoma's crazy weather and how it changed like every hour of the day. One minute it's beautiful sunshine and the next minute it's like a tornado. I came to weather camp because I wanted to learn more about meteorology so I could pick a career in college and plan out my future. I came to weather camp because I've wanted to be a meteorologist since I was five years old and you know it's good to get away from everything once in a while. I came to weather camp to learn more about meteorology. I came to weather camp to learn about meteorology and to make more friends. I came to weather camp because I want to have more experience and then choose which career I want to do. I came to meteorology camp because I've had a passion for storms since I was around six years old. I wanted to come to weather camp because I wanted to make new friends. I came to meteorology camp to get a feel for college at OU. Boomer Sooner. I came to weather camp because I wanted to learn how to be a meteorologist and how the weather works. I came to weather camp because this might be a profession I'm looking into when I get older. I came to weather camp because I wanted to learn more about weather in general, but I wanted to really home in on severe weather in particular because the ferocity of it has always impressed me and I wanted to know what makes it that way. I came to weather camp because I wanted to study about anything about meteorology because I wanted to be a meteorologist and I just love all things weather. Mostly tornadoes though, so <laughs> I like the exciting parts. <laughs> I came to weather camp because I wanted to learn about severe thunderstorms and more other things about the high pressure and low pressure. I came to weather camp to learn all about what the scientists do in their labs and how they do it and see how easy it is maybe get a job in it. I wanted to come to this camp because I think weather is really amazing and I wanted to learn more about it. I came to weather camp because I want to learn more about weather. I wanted to come to this camp because it exposes me to jobs in meteorology. I came to weather camp because I wanted to learn more about the weather. I knew some things, but I didn't know all of it. I don't like that camera. Why? It doesn't <laughs> like you either, so we've Good. got that out. Now that we've got that out of the way. <laughs> I don't like that camera. I used the Mesonet website to find the temperature in Guthrie. Okay, so Washington is just south. Today we got to visit the Mesonet Tower, and my favorite thing about it was the lightning rod on top. And um, we just kind of got to learn everything about how it works and how it functions. And it has all these really cool things on it. There's, this th there's a thing on top and it checks the wind speed. And then there's also a thing that checks temperature. And it was really cool just to kind of see what it was and just to learn about it. My favorite part was the radiation shield on top of the thermometers and uh, other equipment to protect it from the sun. And I really liked how some people could think of that and just um, get a better understanding of the real temperature instead of having the sun affect it. I know that from the National Weather Forecast Office. They give out all the warnings, um, including blizzard warnings, tornado warnings, flood warnings, and all kind of stuff to your like local TV stations to warn you about incoming weather. Today I toured the Storm Prediction Center, which monitors to severe weather patterns all around the U.S. It's this big room with a bunch of radars that monitor stuff like humidity and cloud patterns. When I did the cloud in the bottle, I put water or alcohol in the bottom. When they pumped the air up, I let go of it real fast and the pressure dropped really fast and then it made a cloud inside of a bottle. We learned about shooting a cloud vortex at each other in trash cans and it creates a ring of air because a vortex goes through it and the air in the middle is moving faster than the air on the outside. 
What is the balloon made out of? It? What kind of rubber? Do you know if it's ever gotten struck by lightning? What if there's one coming towards you? Can you jump up and well carry a little bit? Why do you use? The weather balloon experience was very great and that it taught us about how weather is researched on a daily basis. We learned about the weather balloon and it is has an 80 feet rope between the balloon's bottom and the transmitter. It measures the air pressure and the temperature and the wind speed. We did a lab called Rain gauge, rain gauge calibrating test and what you do is you fill the barrette with water and you want it to open this nozzle so the water will go down the bucket and the bucket will tip when it's full so you stop the nozzle and then cal like calculate the water level of the burette Okay, go down more than that because we need to be 18.5 and not 5.5. We had to pour water into the top of the gauge to calibrate it to get it to 18.5 milliliters. And once it was to 18.5 milliliters when it would tip over, then that's when we knew we were good to go. We drew maps with contour lines and uh, the same temperatures. Uh, they use it to predict where storms may occur. Um, it's important to use uh, boundaries because they normally have s uh, storms form there. We made weather maps and they were very difficult. We had to connect all these crazy lines with triangles and squares and that kind of stuff. And we learned about fronts and boundaries where storms can form. Isotherms are like the hardest thing to draw ever because you have to find all the same temperatures and draw a very red line in between all of them. We learned about all the different uh, boundaries that uh, thunderstorms occurred on and then after that we learned what, um, what instruments uh, picked those up and then we learned how to draw it on a map. And a hundred and a couple more little marks in here so this is probably like 110. Because what we're really capturing is the it's the jet, it's the max, maximum area of wind. So you have this 120 is bigger than 100, so this actually would need to, because you have 100 between these two, that line would actually need to stretch further. Uh, the activity we did with troughs and ridges with wind speed, we connected contour lines to form a map. Ridges are, come from the south and bring warmer temperature and Troughs come from the northern bring cooler temperature and usually storms and rain. I like Weatherscope because you can customize your own map and you can even go back into the past and learn about the history and how big storms formed and other storms like the May 3rd tornado and the tornadoes last year and you can learn from it and learn how they're similar and different. I like the Weatherscope maps because it was just so easy to create a map and put whatever you want on it and it was really fun to use. The Weatherscope software is, I think it's cool because of the all the different features that you can layer onto the map of like the United States and Oklahoma in general. Check that instrument's off about almost 200 miles away from us. So let's say that one of our quality assurance meteorologists was... Today we went to the airport at OU. We were learning about the planes. We got to see a flight simulator and we got to go in one of them big radars. We went to the phased array radar, which was pretty cool. It was bigger than the Doppler, and it's a lot faster and accurate than Doppler. We went to the radar today, and it was pretty cool. We learned that some of the, this technology that we've been using is uh, dis, has been disclassified because it's been military technology, and now it's available for weather use. Uh, you can rotate the entire top, so you can scan the entire sky. The whole thing rotates, the staircase rotates, and it's carrying about uh, 20 tons. My favorite part was the radar because there's a giant plate and in that plate there's 43 
152 little plates and each of them can actually generate one microwave. If you think about it, that's a lot of popcorn. The flight simulator was cool. I liked how he depicted all different types of weather and what you have to go through to actually be a pilot. We went to the flight simulator and they told us about how to fly in the extreme weather conditions and they were talking about that if you can't see three miles away from the landing then you have to like go around and go back again or they can't do it. Going to the TV station was great. I mean, I walked through the door and I just got like so excited. I don't know, I just expected it to be like really... Yeah, no, um, it doesn't need to be really that big because the cameras can zoom in and out. I got to meet Damon Lane and I see him on TV all the time, so I really enjoyed that. Cloudy, it's misty, and the cloud, uh, the bases of the clouds are pretty low. Um, so obviously we, we can't go flying today, um, which uh, I know a lot of times if you ever see the helicopter take off, it's a pretty cool, uh, pretty cool sight to see. Yes. Have you ever completely blown a forecast? Yes. <laughs> that, we, we call that a bust. We went and saw the helicopter in the hangar and got to see one of the new storm chasing vehicles and got to look at the inside of the helicopter. And that was pretty cool, even though it didn't get, get to launch off. I usually get at least one email a week saying, you know, because what happens is, okay, so in the, in the summertime you get tan, and my makeup was made for me not to be quite as tan. So sometimes you'll see a line right where I stop, and someone will say, hey, we can see a line on your face from where you stop putting on your makeup, so I'm not very good. I might let my wife be the one to, uh, to teach the daughter how to put on the makeup. I'm not very good. My favorite part about this week was uh, seeing uh, Channel 5 and I liked it because of their uh, weather set. We got to meet Damon Lane, that was really cool. Where is it? That, right there? There you go. I don't know. Yeah. Okay, um, where is Hardwood? <laughs> there you go, it's tough. It's we got to mess around with the green screen at the weather station today. Uh, they make it look really easy on TV, but it's a lot harder than it actually looks. The <laughs> point is uh, 64 degrees and it's 67 degrees right now. It's weird because I've seen Jonathan and David Lane on television, but it's strange to look at them in person because they're real. Are they real or are they not? And then when you actually see them, they are real. Be right here under this, this plexiglass so I can... Uh, hit buttons and I can actually switch um, what's going into it. And, and I watch what everyone else is doing as well. Um, I'm a channel surfer. I flip around just because I want to see what everyone's doing and what everyone's talking about. Um, but I do. And it, it's, it's very hard for me to watch a newscast without being a little critical because sometimes you can say, ooh, I like that, or now why they do that? Um, every news anchor and meteorologist is, is like that. Close them out. Seriously, you can take a picture. Box them out. That is a very true.